At the far northeast corner of the fairgrounds, tucked away between the Susan Knapp Amphitheater and the fire station, you're going to find a series of tents and teepees. It's a recreation of a mountain man rendezvous, and it is a great place to learn a lot more about this way of life. What I'm going to use is pyrite, and I'll strike the pyrite with flint. Pyrite is the Greek word that stands for fire, it's where you get pyrotechnics. When the mountain men had been up there trapping and, and uh, the, tra the fur traders um, trapping all winter, then they needed to bring their goods to market to replenish their stock of things that they needed and um, would spend several weeks visiting, uh, trading goods, uh, catching up on the news. Um, so this is a reenactment of that time period. If you think, well, that looks pretty fun, you can actually buy a few tomahawk throws and give it a try yourself. Let's see if I can avoid embarrassing myself here. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Bullseye! We missed the match, but we got a little bit of the card. So I will take that one any day for a starter. See, so that, that flake there is a, is a good, look at the sharp edge on that. You don't see this every day. Like flint nappers, we're not like on every corner, but uh, I, I think it's a good way. People are really interested. Everyone's culture made stone tools that's something we all have in common, like the fire, like breathing, like spirit. And so it's a way of connecting with that part of themselves. They all have it in their ancestry. Mark, you make a variety of flutes. They're gorgeous. Tell me a little bit more about them and how you got started doing this. Well, I, I started making flutes just because I love the sound. And uh, I fell in love the minute I heard the flute, I fell in love. And so I was uh, too poor to buy one, so I decided I'd try to make it. I, I want to make a really good flute because uh, I want people to enjoy the sound that I did. A lot of these things are ways of life and things that people don't see nowadays. Right. Why is it important to share that with fairgoers and let them see this? Well, I think uh, uh, mainly the history and the perseverance of our ancestors and um, the ingenuity and creativity. They used the resources, the God-given resources on the land and um, in nature to basically provide everything they needed and but it was not just handed to them they had to work to change it into the form that they could use it for food uh, clothing um, housing shelter 